Hi friends, it's Sarah Millerhouse here and I am excited to share a new layout with you today for the Shimmers Paints design team. I will be using the August color kits and I absolutely love the colors and everything in these kits. So what I did is I started with a piece of mixed media white cardstock and a stencil for my stash and then I used some resist spray. So that's a spray that allows you to put on lots of different mediums and you can wipe them. Once it dries, you can wipe them off of that and it doesn't it doesn't stick to it. So um, I started with that and then I got busy with all of the beautiful patterned papers that are in the August color kits. I loved those flamingos so much and knew immediately when I saw that patterned paper that I needed to use those. So I cut out a bunch of flowers and leaves and the flamingos and then um, I sat while the paper was off the, with the resist drying, I got another piece. This is just regular white cardstock. There's nothing special about it. And I took the colors from the color kits this month. So the first one, that orange that I sprayed on was a colorings and that's tangy tangerine and colorings is a flat color. So, um, very bold and bright. Um, and then I added in some of the creamies trippin in the tropics so that's that pink color and the creamies does have a beautiful satin finish and then I as I'm mixing that on then I sprayed on the vibes that has lots of shimmer and uh, the color for that is pink Moscato so what I'm doing here it looks like a whole hot mess but I'm going to be using just uh, this piece of paper to cut out uh, to use some metal dyes to cut out some flowers and some leaves so then on the right side, I'm using the Vibes Love Ocean number nine, which I love that color. That's the turquoise color. And then I also mixed in some of the Shimmers Jilted Jade. So on that piece of paper, I used all the colors in the color kits. I did not use the bonus, um, the color from the bonus bundle. I just used the five main colors in the color kits. And then now that my resist has dried, I used, I went back and got that piece of paper and now I am adding color on. So I started with, again, the Vibes Love Ocean number nine, and I am just spraying that on. And really what I'm wanting to do here is I'm wanting the color to look kind of like it's washing down the page. So you can see as I've sprayed it on, you can see that you can um, totally tell where the flowers are from the stencil that I used. And I didn't, when I was spraying the resist on, I didn't do like a perfect spray of the stencil I just did parts of it, so uh, you can kind of see it's just got a touch of uh, the white on the top left corner and then kind of a little touch on the right, not quite at the top corner. I kind of wanted it to be off, off center there. So then I added in some of the Shimmers Jilted Jade and I'm just wanting to kind of blend these two colors. And you can see as I'm going with my paintbrush, it's kind of running down. I did dry up some of the wetness a little bit. So the color is a little bit more muted. So I'm going to go back and add uh, some more of that vibes because I want it to be bold, turquoisey blue uh, water color. So I'm doing another water layout. <laughs> so here I wanted it to be very full of color that looks like water on the background. And you can see I've, I'm spraying right on top of where those flowers are and it just kind of runs off of it. If I really wanted it to be clean, I could take like a towel or a wipe and just wipe it clean off. But I really do kind of want a little bit of the color to be on those flowers. So um, I'm going to try to dry it flat so that it doesn't all run off the flowers. <laughs> okay, and I'm moving picking up my paper and kind of turning it different angles to try to get it to have the color in the areas that I want it to have. And then now I'm going to take some stamps from my stash and some ink from my stash and I'm gonna stamp some images on the background. So I started with leaves because I know I've got the flowers on the background and then I've got all the flowers that I fussy cut. So I'm gonna be doing kind of like a tropical floral feel to the layout so I'm starting by giving myself a foundation of leaves on the background and you can kind of see I'm just kind of going every which way because I kind of know in my mind I know that my photos are going to go kind of right there in the center and then I've got the big flamingos so I know the flowers are going to kind of rest around the flamingos so 
it'll make sense as I keep going. In my mind, I had an image of what I wanted it to look like. So I knew where I wanted my stamping to go. And I'm using, I think, three different leaf stamps. And now I'm going to take, and that was those were in green. And then now I'm taking some script stamps. I've got several different ones that I'm using. And I'm adding some scripting in the, there on the background. Because basically what I'm trying to do is create a layered a layered background where every time you look at it, you kind of notice or see something different. And then I just have some pattern, some pattern stamps, like there's some circles and um, dots and different things. So I'm going and just adding a touch here and there. And I am using um, ink that is a little bit darker than the Vibes Love Ocean because I wanted it to be just a touch darker. So I wanted it to go and I wanted the colors to blend, but I didn't want them to be super overwhelming. So they're kind of all blended into the background. And then you can see there with my paintbrush, I did add some water to some of those areas because I do, you know, I don't like an image to be super perfect when I stamp it. So I did take a little bit of water. I'm using a water reactive ink. And so I'm able to add water and kind of lift up some of that color. And then now I'm going back and adding splatters of both the Shimmers uh, Jolted Fit Jade, which is kind of that sh super shiny green, and then also the Vibes Love Ocean number nine. And I'm just adding some kind of dots of color. And I do have, when I stamped, I did stamp on top of, <coughs> excuse me, I did stamp on top of the resist. So if I were to take even still like day, I made this layout several weeks ago. If I, even still, if I went and got a wet wipe, I could totally wipe the ink off of those flowers. So because of the resist, so it will not hold the color. It will, it will come off. Um, and then what I was doing there is I was using my metal dies and running them through my, um, my machine to be able to cut the flowers and the leaves out of the piece of paper that I painted with all of the different paints. So uh, the metal dies are from Hip Kit from a long time ago, and they're hibiscus flowers. And then um, the leaves are just, it was like a collection of four different kinds of leaves. And then for my photos, I backed those on white. And then you saw me, um, I also did a layer of orange patterned paper from the August color kits. And so there, I'd used the orange because I really wanted there to be a contrast between what the photos are matted on and the turquoise that's on the, like the turquoise and blues and greens on the background. So if you add contrasting colors behind your photos, it helps your photos stand out more. And that's really what I wanted to do here. I want my photos always to be, um, to be kind of front and center, like the main focal point. So I've got those contrasting colors behind them. And then everything else I do is going to center around my photos. So I do have them popped up on craft foam. That's just cheap craft foam for my craft store. It doesn't even have any adhesive on it. I add my own adhesive on both sides. So I popped both of the photos up and then now I'm going to go back and add my flamingos that I had fussy cut. And I did rough up the edges of those just a little bit, not a whole lot, but just a touch. And I am adding craft foam just to like right there where the body is because everything else, I kind of want it to be like loose and whimsical. The way that their heads are kind of uh, pointing down towards the photos, like almost like they're looking at us as we're swimming, which is kind of the look I was going for. Um, I wanted those to be not flat on the background. So I didn't adhere them down or anything like the heads, the neck and head is just kind of loose. And right now, the legs are too, but they're going to be covered up by flowers, so they will get glued down. <clears throat> and sorry, I'm trying not to cough, but I have, I've got either allergies or the start of a cold going on, so I'm trying not, I'm trying not to cough as I do this ex explanation of the video for you. <clears throat> okay, so here what I'm doing is I am going to create three clusters of flowers. So I will have the cluster right here that I'm working on with the flowers and then also on the bottom of the other flamingo and then kind of the top left of the photos. So I wanted to sort of triangulate 
the embellishments around the photos by creating a triangle around photos you actually your eye is naturally drawn to the center so that was kind of the purpose of that and the placement of the clusters and I did use uh, I did use the flowers and the leaves that I die cut and then also the flowers that I had fussy cut from the pattern paper I love all of the flowers that are included in this month's kit there are several pattern papers with beautiful flowers and I love, 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 love them. And then the hibiscus flowers that I die cut, those have several layers. So they actually have like the, I think it's a piston is what it's called coming out of the center of a hibiscus. If that's not the right word, just forget about it. <laughs> um, but I think that's what it's called. So it's got like all the different parts of the hibiscus poking out. And these photos that I'm scrapping are of just my family in our backyard swimming and we have lots and lots and lots of flowers surrounding our pool so I just like I love flowers on my scrapbook layouts I also love them in my yard um so I have lots of different types of flowers and vegetation around our pool and hibiscus is one of my favorite ones that I have so I've got several different types and colors of hibiscus flowers and then I also have plumeria which is what the yellow flowers that I fussy cut from the pattern paper. That's what they look like. I've got lots of plumeria from our travels and then uh, all different kinds of other flowers. So the colors actually were perfect for what we have around our pool in our backyard and what we look at and enjoy while we're swimming. So this was perfect. Um, all of these, all of these uh, little pieces of ephemera and everything were perfect for the photos. And then also I'm wearing bright pink sunglasses <laughs> in the photo of my daughter and me. So I thought that was cute. The pink looked really good with all that. So here what I'm doing is the kind of dripping, the water dripping down the page that is was the, the look I was going for. It kind of ended right where I had the, <coughs> excuse me, right where I had the flowers and the bottom of the photo. So, so it kind of got cut off. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going back and adding just a touch more of that color kind of dripping down in between the embellishments or the two clusters so that you can kind of still see that color and the beautiful shimmer of the jolted jade. Oh my gosh. The shimmers formula is my favorite always. It's always my favorite <laughs> because it's so shiny and it's almost like there's little teeny tiny crystals and glitter, like microscopically small, but could, and it just has this beautiful shimmer when it dries. And I absolutely love every shimmers that I have. I love to watch the magic that happens as it dries because it's so shimmery and shiny. And I love that. Um, it's my favorite always. Okay. So I am adding some tangled thread and right now I just added some orange thread and I'm going to put the flare that's from the August kits and it says um, something of like be a flamingo among a flock of pigeons, I think is what it is. And I love, I think that's the saying. <laughs> I love, I love that. I love the idea of being yourself and standing out and not being worried about, you know, what other people think or what other people look like or anything like that, that it's okay to just be yourself. I always want my kids to know that and hear that message. And that's, I love flamingos for that reason. So, uh, this was a perfect, perfect little layout for that. And then I took crystals for my stash. You saw added those and now I'm doing pops of color. So I added the crystals to the centers of the flowers and then also around the clusters of the flowers. And I'm doing the same with the pops of color. And I took the main color, like the yellow, the yellow, the, um, a light aqua and then kind of a reddish pink to add some pops of color. And then I added tangled thread all around the clusters of flowers and that is the finished layout. So I hope you enjoyed the process. If you have any questions about any of the steps or anything that I used or anything like that, please don't hesitate to pop it down in the comments and I'll try to answer. Also, if you place a shimmers order, you can write Sarah Miller House in the comments and you will get a free gift. 
and I appreciate you watching. You can give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.